Ahoy hoy, I'm Planet Walk, and today's going to be a short video, nothing too big. Just going to answer a question, and the answer should be rather obvious, to be honest. So when I put out videos, people often notice one of two things. And that is either my nails are painted, or they're not painted. Now, no matter what I do, I often have people asking me why. And so I've decided, rather than just addressing every comment, I'm just going to answer it all here in a video. Now, to be honest, the answer is rather mundane. So I am going to address some questions that people have or some responses, I guess. So the first thing I'm going to address is, did you paint your nails to get this person riled up? Now, to be honest, it is a little bit entertaining to think that some people that respond to me might be a little bit triggered by the fact that I wear nail polish. But the thing is, whether people that respond to me are triggered by my nail polish or not, it doesn't change whether their arguments are valid or not. It's like the people that say, if you don't debate me, then you're wrong. Some people just don't do well in debates. If someone gets upset over me wearing nail polish, then yeah, that's a win for me because I can poke fun at them for it. But at the same time, because not everybody is okay with guys wearing nail polish, it is a tool that other people can try to use to delegitimize my character. Now whilst that doesn't matter to me too much, like if we're talking about Flat Earth, I don't really care too much what Flat Earthers think of me, to be honest. But if we're talking about movements that have negative impacts that have been growing recently, well, in that case, it's probably better that people focus on my arguments. But then, that being said, regardless of whether I paint my nails or not, people are going to make fun of my appearance anyway, because that's what people do. And personally, I don't have the need, nor do I feel the willingness, to shape my appearance around every negative thing that people say about me. Like, I'm not going to cut my hair and beef myself up just because people might take me a little bit more seriously. So yeah, to make people that I disagree with mad is not really why I paint my nails, even if it does sound entertaining sometimes. And also, there is the possibility that I just don't get a response, in which case, if I paint my nails to make someone mad and I don't get a response, then that would be kind of pointless half the time. Another question people might ask is, is it because of YouTube? Do you paint your nails to have more of a personality on YouTube? And the answer is, not really. If people are sticking around simply because I paint my nails, that is a very weird thing to stick around because of. That being said, I don't mind getting comments about them because I like getting comments about literally everything that I do in my videos. And if people don't notice something that I've done in my videos that I wanted people to notice, then it does make me a little bit annoyed. Like if I put a joke in my videos that I find absolutely hilarious and nobody comments on that, but comments on a different joke that I think is way less funny, it's like, why didn't you notice the funny joke or the joke that I thought was funny? That has happened, by the way, where I've written jokes that I've thought, okay, this joke is hilarious, everybody should find it funny, and then there's another joke that somehow steals the spotlight, and I don't know why. Now, seeing as I've gotten through some of the reasons why people might think I do, here's the real reason. The real reason is because... because I want to. I like doing it sometimes. It's quite colourful sometimes, which is why I like painting them blue, because blue is quite a colourful colour. Although sometimes people get annoyed when I do pink, and I don't know why, because pink just is barely noticeable. Now as for the reason why I don't paint them sometimes, some people might say, well, is it because you've received a lot of negative feedback about it? Because I have received negative feedback about it. In fact, one person said that because my nails were painted, that made them too distracting. And that is just bizarre to me, because a lot of people paint their nails. Does everybody with painted nails just, are they just distracting to you? I don't get it. And you might say, oh, it's because you're a guy. But I've seen guys paint their nails on YouTube, such as Lonerbox, and it's just something and go, oh, cool. They've got painted nails. And that's it. And when it comes to feedback, I get way more positive feedback than negative feedback. The only time where it even came close to being equal was when I did pink. So yeah, that is not the reason why sometimes I don't paint my nails. The real reason is because sometimes I just don't feel like it. Like, in the same way that I'm not going to stop painting my nails because of YouTube, I'm also not going to go out of my way to paint my nails all the time because of YouTube as well. So honestly, I'll just do whatever I want, and if someone wants to give me feedback about my nails, you're fine to do so. In fact, if you say, oh, I think this colour would look really good on you, I might even take your advice. So yes, that is the real reason why I paint my nails, as mundane as it may be. But anyway, leave a like and subscribe if you like that. Leave a comment letting me know if you'd like me to make more of these sort of short little videos where I just talk about something that I find interesting for five minutes. Also, this video will lower the average view duration on my channel because when I post a video that's nine minutes long, 
YouTube says, you know, the average view duration on this video is lower than the average on the channel. And I go, oh wow, I didn't realize that posting a video that's literally shorter than my average view duration would have a lower average view duration. And for those wondering, the average view duration on my channel is around about 10 minutes. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Between you and me, thank you for watching.